Welcome to this tutorial video on using DocuSign with N4 Document Management. DocuSign integration helps automate any process that requires digital signatures, allows tracking of a document status, and gives you the ability to sign documents from anywhere. This is useful for contracts or any agreements. As I'll show here, it allows you to quickly send documents out to be electronically signed and returned to you. Imagine if you're drafting up some sort of financial agreement, like an equipment and supplies contract with the hospital. All that's left is the signing of these important documents. With DocuSign integration, you can easily, securely, and at a low cost send that contract to be signed and returned to you for safekeeping. In this video, we will use DocuSign with Infor Financials and Supply Management Solution. Before you get started, make sure you sign up for your electronic signature license at DocuSign.com. Let's begin the setup. Go to your control center and see if you can find document signature underneath configuration. You'll need the IDM signature user role if it isn't showing. If you don't have the role, you'll need to go to the home page and click on security. You'll go to your name, click on user details, and click on the security roles tab. From there, hit the plus button and add the IDM signature user role. If none of this is available to you, you'll need to contact your administrator to give you the permissions to set this up instead as you don't have permissions. Next is DocuSign's website. If you don't have an account already, you'll have to create one. Starting off from their home page, click on settings at the top. After clicking on settings, navigate down the left and click apps and keys underneath integrations. Going back to the control center in IDM, click on document signature, clear the values and account ID and base URL and paste the API account ID and base URL from DocuSign into the boxes here. DocuSign to work, you have to enable document signature when creating a document type. I've already made one, but here's where the option is for the purposes of this video. After uploading a document, all you have to do now is click signature. Please note that this will lock the document from any changes being made on this version of it. Now make sure that you don't have pop-ups blocked for IDM. If you're not already signed in the DocuSign, you'll have to allow access here. After clicking Signature, this window will pop up. Templates is optional along with Edit Envelope. For templates, users can create templates in DocuSign's site and upload them here. For that, I'll put a link to one of DocuSign's template guides in the description below. Edit Envelope allows users to customize the signature fields of the document, namely where each recipient should sign within the document. Not having a template with Edit Envelopes on just sends the document out and allows the recipient to add what they please to it. I recommend using a template for business purposes. After sending the document off, the recipient should expect an email. As shown here, it will link you to the DocuSign and you can see that the template has already auto-filled the name section for me. All that's left is to sign the document and finish. I'll then send the notification to the sender and reflect that status on IDM. The signed document will be reflected in IDM here with this green symbol, highlighting that this document has been signed. If it's yellow, that means it's still pending a signature. For more resources on Infor Document Management, check out the video description below. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to keep an eye out for future tutorials.